how are you? Great day, isn't it? Huh? Outstanding. Day. Be better. Day. Great day, isn't it? Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. Terrific. Aloha, everybody, on this wonderful Hawaii day uh, that, that, that exemplifies everything about uh, the announcement that uh, I'm incredibly pleased to be able to, uh, to make. Uh, it, this is going to put a smile on everybody's face. The, the, uh, the Conservation, the International Union of the Conservation and Nature, the, the world's largest uh, group of, of uh, of institutions and organizations devoted to con conservation has selected Hawaii, that is to say Istanbul and Turkey and uh, the United States and, and Hawaii. And I want to emphasize Hawaii, by the way. This is not Honolulu. This is Hawaii. Uh, the entire state is, is the host. Uh, and uh, I can say that with, with certainty and with authority uh, because when we invited the, the selection site team uh, to come to Hawaii, they went to every island. They went to they they explored every avenue. And what we what we said is we're not in competition with anybody else. We we never denigrate someone else or downgrade someone else or speak about someone else's demerits. Uh, we what we speak about is what Hawaii has to offer, uh, has to offer the world, and particularly in terms of conservation and stewardship of our natural resources and cultural resources, uh, we felt that Hawaii could stand on its own and, and uh, make its case, present its case, and uh, whoever uh, else uh, wanted to do the same was, was welcome to do it, and, and we wished them the best of good fortune. We felt that we could, uh, we could uh, represent uh, uh, to, the, uh, the, to the Congress um, uh, Hawaii as a, uh, as a central element in uh, the preservation of, of, uh, of uh, cultural re resources and, 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 and conservation issues. And so um, uh, uh, William Isla was uh, uh, key in this. Esther Kia Aina, who, as you know, uh, was our deputy in, in DLNR and, and called to Washington uh, to, uh, to uh, represent the United States of America as the Undersecretary for Insular Affairs. Um, uh, to uh, the Secretary of the Interior and to President Obama, uh, she was was absolutely key in uh, in seeing all this came about. And right up to the point that when I was uh, in Washington recently, I I requested. Uh, uh, it's always good to friend to have always good to have a friend in the White House. And uh, <laughs> so uh, I uh, when I was there, I, I I went to the White House and requested. Uh, the personal uh, intervention of the president, and I, I'm pleased to say, in fact, I have a copy here. I hope it's been made available to you. The president not only wrote the director general personally, but simply signed it, uh, Barack Obama. I mean, this was a personal letter on the part of the, of the president to the International Union for the Conservation of Nature, to the World Congress, uh, saying that, uh, that Hawaii uh, for example, is one of the most culturally and ecological rich areas in the United States with a wealth of unique natural resources and a distinctive traditional culture that draws from the United States and the Asia-Pacific region. I mean, it's, it's just a beautiful uh, 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 summary, if you will, by, by uh, the son of Hawaii, the President of the United States, Barack Obama. Uh, and I'm, I'm very pleased that, that, uh, the, that the friendship that he extends to, to us here in Hawaii uh, actually went to the point of drafting a personal letter uh, on our behalf. So uh, there are so many people uh, uh, to thank. Um, uh, I, I, I know Steve Montgomery can't be here today. Uh, I'm sure he's out in the field uh, doing his conservation work. Um, he was involved. And of course, there's eight different organizations right here in, uh, in, in Hawaii. Uh, just on the conservation side alone, who all pulled together. Uh, the Office of Hawaiian Affairs was involved. The Hawaii Tourism Authority. Uh, uh, Brian Links is, is is here today, who will be, uh, I presume, representing the HTA as as we move forward. And Bill uh, uh, and uh, and Chipper are going to go through some of the rest of the uh, 
of those who needed to be thanked and also put some uh, further perspective on what the Congress is all about and what we're going to do. Suffice to say from my, from my uh, part that uh, when, uh, when the idea first came uh, to me that it might be possible, and I think I can say it was Steve Montgomery uh, I, 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 from the beginning, my old friend, a uh, friend of, of course, a friend of conservation in Hawaii, uh, and an and old friend of, from, from way back in university days, um, said, you know, why, why not us? And I think the bottom line for me is, is that. Why not Hawaii? Why we we need to step up and and uh, and and let the world know what Hawaii has to offer, and when we did, the world not only recognized it but said um, we're with you on it. So uh, I couldn't be more delighted to, to from the president of the United States uh, to to the grassroots uh, conservation movement uh, in, uh, in 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 Hawaii. Um, the recognition has come that uh, that uh, in terms of the of what the International Union for the Conservation of Nature wants to accomplish, that they see Hawaii as, as, as the, the vehicle for it. I couldn't be happier about it. William? Oh, hello, Mike Ako, everyone. What a long wait it is. <clears throat> but we're here today, and it's going to happen. And, you know, when the uh, selection committee came through and looked at the Hawaii Convention Center, and went through every nook and cranny, including cabinets and closets that haven't been opened up for years, they were impressed by the uh, capacity that the state has to put on this historic conference. When we were at the edge of Kilauea Volcano with Mehana um, and her Oli, I could see in the eyes of the uh, selection committee members that they got what Hawaii has to offer. No place else in the world. The integration of indigenous knowledge with science to solve real problems in real times. So Kamanao, mahalo for uh, sending um, your crew to do such a good job. Governor, the, the president's letter was no small task. <laughs> I, can, I can assure you because we kept getting, it can't be done, it can't be done, it can't be done in this time frame. Yeah. And you went to Washington, D.C., you made some calls, and the impossible happened. This letter showed up at the right time in the right place. And Enrique, who was the head of the uh, delegation, always told us that, you know, as I leave, I feel really good about Hawaii, Hawaii's bid. But, you know, if the president would send a letter of support, that would go a long way. <laughs> <laughs> and so... Your, oh, we say, oh, that. <laughs> <laughs> Your influence in Washington, D.C. had a great deal to do with why we are here today and why we'll be able to showcase um, the good things in Hawaii, the Green Growth Initiative, Rain Follows the Forest, all of the good work that Hawaii is doing um, to help share solutions, potential solutions uh, with climate change, uh, with energy uh, challenges that we have going forward, and I think Hawaii will make the United States and the rest of the world proud as we move forward with the IUCN. Thank you. Thank you. And now, Chipper, uh, for, for those who have not had the opportunity yet to visit the National Tropical Botanical Garden, um, I should say gardens because it's in the plural, um, Hawaii uh, has uh, sites uh, 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 among all those represented by by the idea of the National Tropical Botanical Gardens that that a lot of people in Hawaii don't know about and and that is a treasure an absolute treasure when they I think that was the the the, the final piece uh in the in the tour of the islands uh that that we gave the uh, sele the site selection team when they ended in Kauai uh at uh, at the National Tropical Botanical Garden in Kauai I think that that was that was the clincher they understood that we understand that uh paradise is a continuum uh, a recognition of the past an honoring uh of the past in order to have a clear uh, perception of where we are now in order to have an even clearer understanding of where we need to go. And, uh, and Chipper is, is, is uh, not only representative of the conservation uh, movement in the world, uh, but uh, 
leads uh, the effort by the National Tropical Botanical Garden uh, to make sure that uh, our commitment to Hawaii's uh, legacy uh, of conservation uh, is uh, in good hands. Chipper. Thank you. Thank you very much. Al Aloha mai kako. And um, Governor, thank you for those, for those very kind words. And, and uh, having spent nearly four decades at, at the garden working on this, it's, it's, this is truly a dream come true. And, and when the idea first began to gel right after the World Congress in, in Barcelona in 2008, I never wavered in my, in my belief that Hawaii has all of the attributes that, um, that IUCN is looking for. And, and when I say that, it's, it's been alluded to by both yourself and, 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 um, and William. We are a leader in biocultural conservation, not just science-based conservation, but conservation that embodies the spirit and knowledge of indigenous people. And, and I look to Kamana over here and, and OHA, Kamehameha Schools, um, Polynesian Voyaging Society. These are leaders that are represented as IUCN members here in Hawaii. And, and this is what the world needs, is to bridge the indigenous knowledge and, and Western science, to bring them together, the synergy of these two disciplines, um, will unlock our future conservation of our planet. And I think as we stand here today and, and, and celebrate this announcement, it's amazing because we're about to launch the Hokulea around the world on a worldwide voyage, which is taking this message of Malama Honua, to care for our earth, to care for our land, and the values we have uh, perpetuated here for, for centuries in Hawaii, to take that message around the world. Hawaii is taking its rightful place as a global leader uh, to share with the world the urgency of, of, of the message of conservation and the fact that we can do it together. And I, I don't believe this is by accident. This is destiny. This, is, this was meant to happen. This uh, effort was, as Randy Tanaka said, it was in ICU so many times. I mean, the, uh, the, the, the hurdles between us and, and achieving this seemed insurmountable for years and years. And yet, one by one, they, uh, we have surmounted them and we have, we have achieved this. And, when we got the message from the Director General last night, it validated all of our work. It validated the fact that um, Hawaii is the best location in the world. And I, I would like to add, uh, Governor, to, to that announcement, it was, I, I was informed that the council, oh, yeah. which is represented of all the 160 countries of the world, which are, which are the national IUCN members, voted unanimously for Hawaii including our representatives from Turkey. So that shows true solidarity and recognition of, of our venue as the best in the world. And, and I, I, wanna, I, I would be remiss if I didn't acknowledge that this truly was a grassroots effort that came from individuals who recognized that and pushed and pushed with their private time and private money to make this happen. Uh, last night I went back and looked at it. In, in, in my world, I got sucked in from an email from Penny Levin and Christopher Dunn um, in Jan January 6, 2009. And, and because of Senator Inouye's strong relationship with the Garden, they asked if, if we would be involved in, in, and bring this to his attention. And he championed it along with Senator Akaka. But ultimately, uh, Governor, it was, it was your leadership it was at a time when, the, when, the, when we came down to it, and IUCN cannot be hosted by a state, it cannot be hosted by, by individuals, it has to be hosted by a country. IUCN was willing to accept the expression of interest on behalf of the government of Hawaii because you recognized it and stepped forward. Because of your relationship and the great job that we did with APAC, we had a relationship with Department of State that, that Esther, um, yourself, and others were able to leverage into, into formally getting the United States on board. And as you just mentioned, the, the letter from the President of the United States was the icing on the cake. When I saw that letter, I knew that all of the stars were aligned. But I thank you, Governor, because without your leadership, without you stepping forward, all of our grassroots effort would have come to naught. 
And so thank you on behalf of our conservation community, which includes all of our cultural practitioners, all of our science, all of our um, dedicated people. Thank you on thank behalf you of Hawaii. Much. Thank you, Chair. Yeah. Uh, different names have been mentioned. Uh, I, w I also want to recognize Randy uh, for being just central and key in all of this. And it, I'm in great danger the second I start getting it into names because, because I'm sure Randy and, and, and Brian and, and, and uh, Jackie, everybody here, Hanani, Jesse, everyone, see I'm already trapped, uh, uh, will be the first to acknowledge that this was was a grassroots effort. This was a multi, multidisciplinary uh, effort. The, the, everybody worked together. If there was ever a time when we got out of silos and were working uh, uh, intra and inter and at cr uh, not at cross purposes but but crossing lines uh, to cooperation, this was it. Uh, I just do want to emphasize that th that w we are representing the nation here. Um, uh, the, the, uh, only countries can can do this, and and I think at first they were a little nonplussed when a state uh, sent representatives. Uh, uh, and maybe William at some point can give you a, a little summary of the journeys he and Esther uh, went on uh, to do that. But I I was confident that if we made a good case and we had the case to make, that we would be able to bring the State Department around, and and uh, uh, of course eventually the. Uh, the, uh, the 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 White House as well because we needed to have the imprimatur of the of the United States of America. I want to say as well that uh, and give credit to and give thanks to uh, uh, a former Speaker Nancy Pelosi uh, when I went to to my dear friend uh, 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 Speaker Pelosi. Um, she also. Uh, not only uh, spoke personally, wrote personally, but but followed through again and again and again with the State Department and the White House to make sure that that we stayed on their on their screen, and that uh, they knew that that uh, our effort had her full support. And uh, so when uh, the, the president was pleased to be able to to uh, uh, know that uh, that that Hawaii was going to be able to. Uh, take charge of uh, the entire operation for the United States of America. So, uh, any questions uh, we can answer? or uh, do you, Bill, Bill, you want to give them just a quick summary? Because I'm sh this is really actually very interesting, and it may, it may be part of the record, of, of when, when Chipper, right, remember we were over at Washington Place? Yeah. We were over at the Queen's home, right? Yeah. And you and Steve came up and said, here's an idea. What do you think, <laughs> right? And I said, you know, we can do that, yeah. right? And, uh, longest, right. <laughs> but uh, then but you, hit, but you had to go and make the, the initial forays, William, right. with then, Esther. Why don't you then, give a quick yeah, summary? One, one quick story is uh, Here. two days before uh, a meeting in, uh, in Geneva, um, we found out we needed representation, and so um, I asked Esther, and she readily volunteered. Um, she she got on a, a plane, went to a foreign country, couldn't speak the language, um, missed the train, <laughs> commandeered a taxi who wasn't working as a taxi that day, and got to the meeting five minutes before it started, and represented all of us mm -hmm. very uh, very eloquently, and. Um, quickly made friends and allies amongst the folks. So that's sort of the curious history of this project. As you said, it is destiny that we're here today um, making this announcement. And Governor, again, you played a huge role. Everyone in this room played a huge role. And we will make history when we successfully um, demonstrate to the world that Hawaii um, is, is a place that has its act together.